Auto insurance is an absolute necessity when you drive a vehicle. However, it can be a challenge to figure out exactly what kind of policy to purchase. It can be frustratingly confusing with so many options, spelled out in so many unfamiliar terms. However, this task does not have to be as bad as you think. Learn more about choosing the right coverage for you by reading this article. Think carefully about buying aftermarket add-ons if you really do not need them. Luxuries in your vehicle, while nice, are not a necessity. If your car should happen to be stolen or totaled, those cost of those additional items will not be covered. It's a good idea to review your auto insurance policy each time it comes up for renewal. Always supply your insurance company with accurate information. For example, if you started a new job, your commuting distance may have decreased, which can reduce your rates. Some insurers offer a geezer discount to people who are over 55 years of age and take a course to bone up on their driving skills. Getting discounts on your insurance is a nice bonus. You need to understand what kind of coverage you need for car insurance. Although you may get insurance coverage for a single vehicle, there are lots of factors that you need to consider in getting the final cost. Make sure your insurance covers legal costs as well as death or injury claims in case you are involved in a bad accident. Once a family member buys his or her own insurance, make sure to take him or her off of your policy. This will reduce the amount of money you must pay in premiums. For instance, if your child who has always been covered under your policy buys his or her own policy, lower your premium by having that child removed from your policy. When setting insurance rates, companies consider the total number of drivers in a household. If you want to bring down the cost of your insurance, reduce the number of drivers that are covered. If you no longer own a vehicle, remove it immediately from your insurance policy. There is no need to continue carrying insurance on a vehicle you no longer own as it is purely wasted money. If you have a car rental in your insurance policy then think about removing it. You probably will never have to use the service, so why continue to pay for it? Removing it from the policy would lower the premium. It may be a gamble, however, hopefully it is one that will pay off in the long run. Before you purchase a car, find out how much it would cost to insure it. An insurance agent can let you know which models have the lowest rates. If you're in the market for a new or previously owned vehicle, insurance rate info could be a big factor in your choice. It is possible for you to save a good amount of money on car insurance if you purchase a car with a high safety rating. Choosing proper insurance is the key to saving money should an accident occur. Deductibles are how much an individual would be responsible for paying in the event of an accident. Different insurance companies use different methods for determining insurance premiums. Because insurance companies offer a broad array of policy prices, always solicit additional quotes if you do not like the first few you receive. If you pay several policies with one company, you may qualify for a discount. This means you should look to bundle these offers by insuring your car and home together. Although two separate insurance policies can be a better choice, you still want to make sure the deal you're getting is good, and has plenty of coverage. These are just a few of the many ways that you can understand more about choosing auto insurance. The more you learn about how auto insurance works, the less confusing it will be. With this knowledge, you can make better choices about the right policies for you. Share this video and subscribe for more interesting auto insurance tips.